All right, guys, so we made it to Capac now. It's a watering hole here. I guess you could jump into it? Yeah. So we're gonna go see what's all about. Guys, the drive here is no joke. It's, <laughs> it's a long one. It's, it's probably like about- Two hours. Two hours from city center. And the fee for parking is 50 pesos, yes. We're not sure if there's a fee up here to like participate in jumping off, but uh, if so, we'll let you guys know. By the way, guys, we've been in Bojo for two days now. Prior to this, we went to Cebu. So if you see our skin just getting darker and darker, it's because of the sun. And we've been really bad at putting sunscreen on, so we're peeling really hardcore. I don't know how long the same pathway is, but at this point, I think we're in Oz. <laughs> All right, we made it, guys. I know we just did this back in Oslo where we did canyoneering and it's no different. However, there's still a sense of fear that comes with jumping off a cliff and not knowing what's underneath the water, how deep it is, and if I'm gonna rise back up. I know I have a vest because I don't know how to swim, but it's so scary. Like, it looks deep. Like the height difference. <laughs> oh, you almost I, almost, I almost went in. There she goes, she's so scared. She's so scared. <laughs> He's putting on a brave face, guys, but. but middle. Yeah. It's more like that. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know if I can do it. Jose, you can do it. <laughs> yes, thank you. He can do it. <laughs> No, nope, nope, you're thinking about it. I'm gonna just, I wish Nico was here to push you. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to? Yeah. Amazing. It's that perfect temp. It's like cold, but not. It's like warm, but cold. It's like the deepest heat in the water. Kind of? Because apparently I like jumping off cliffs because this is. There was no hesitation whatsoever. You look like a silver fox in here. Ooh, am I daddy now? <laughs> you go either jump into the water or take the ladder down <laughs> as you being shamed by everyone. Guys, I know exactly what he's going through right now because I went through it not too long ago. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary jumping off this, but my man over here, he is brave. You don't realize how deep it is. I like swimming, I like jumping off this apparently, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's a child. He's such a child. you guys don't see is I'm pulling Jose. <laughs> Swimming for both of us. Did he get What dance move is that? <laughs> what dance move is it? Get the water on my ear dance. <laughs> get in. This is insane. Come here. Come, come, come to this cave if you are in Wohu. We are just cliff jumping, we're swimming through this cave, we're talking to the locals, like it's an awesome experience that we would have probably never had had we not committed to this two hour drive. You know that I love animals and any chance that I get 
to go play with animals, I'm going to do it. And Jose is right there with me. Okay, so today we're in Bohol, correct? There's no way we could come here and not come to the Tarze Conservation Area. Look at these cute little dudes. I'm, I was gonna f bring my drone so I could like put one on top of it so it could go like its own little personal jet, but they told me that's a no-go. No, I didn't really ask this, <laughs> don't, don't worry. But yeah, we're excited, let's go in. So if you've been following us, you'll notice in our videos when we do anything in Thailand, there's always dual pricing and like extremely different. Even in Mexico, in the Philippines, one price for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a local or a foreigner, which is freaking amazing. Wait, are you a Tarsier? Same color eye. They're so cute and when I first saw them, I was like, they remind me of those teeny babies with those big googly oh, eyes. Oh my gosh, they do. I think the beanie babies are bigger. Beanie babies. Why do I call them teeny babies? <laughs> but anyway, guys, they're so cute. They're so tiny, like the size of, just, you just want to pick them all up. I think they could all fit in like your palm of your hand. I have now declared the Tarsier as my favorite little primate, my only primate. And then I have my silver back over here. I just spotted the rarest tarsier ever to be found in the park. Check this out. Hi. Thumb? My thumb's bigger. 15 to 24 years is their lifespan, and they eat small insects. That's a long time for the small primate. I will say, while it, they're really cute to see, you only get to walk through it for like five minutes, <laughs> but it's worth it because they're the cutest things. And it was only 100 pesos for per person. So you're not paying much at all. It was super fun, super cute, and they're so tiny. And I want one, I want one guys. Send it to me. All right guys, we needed to eat. We were exhausted from jumping in the watering hole. So we came here. It's LeBlanc River Cruise, and it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet on a boat that goes through the river. And it was 1,700 pesos, which is roughly 33 US dollars, so not bad for an unlimited buffet. And we don't know what we're in for, so we're gonna go see. Guys, from what we're seeing as we wait to get our plate of food, it looks all delicious. I see the fresh watermelon. Some I know Will's definitely gonna grab some of that. I'll grab a banana, but we're gonna go ham. This is all you can eat, and it was a little bit pricier than what we expected, so we're gonna take full advantage of it. So I get the luxury of standing in line this long time and filming Jose get his food. Put the camera down and then go back and get my own. <laughs> So let's hope there's some left. She's ready. She's right, ready to chow down. ready to eat. We are hungry. We have a really bad habit of not eating breakfast and half the time not even lunch because we're on the go, go, go. We needed this this morning or this afternoon. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, this is a good start. Guys, like, we got live music back there. We got an endless amount of food. 
with this scenic view around us. Yeah, you're on a boat in this beautiful Gatorade and blue water, cruising full hole down the river. Doesn't get better. Doesn't get better. <laughs> Whatever this is, really good. I think it's like a pork, like a fried pork. It's definitely a breaded pork. I'm noticing a lot of the breading on pretty much everything has a pork rind taste. So if you like real pork rinds, you'll love this. It's the same taste. Onion ring. I mean, it's an onion ring, you can't go wrong. It's very good. So for the record, me and Jose can't sit on the same side because we're at the end of the buffet line. Or beginning. So yeah, that's why we're not the same shots for the most part. Actually, I'm glad I got a lot of room now. My favorite dessert in the world is banana bread. And look what they got. No? No? There you go. Look what they got. No? Oh, there you go. <laughs> banana bread. Let's try it. It's moist. It's moist, and it's moist. <laughs> moist. You know, it's nice to finally be able to take a break from all the experiences that we've been doing because we've been non-stop on the go since we got to the Philippines. So this is probably one of the first activities that we do that we actually get to sit down, enjoy, and relax before we dive into the next part of our adventures. So I love it. Food's really good. The ambiance is really good. Mm -hmm. The landscape is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Of course, because we're in the Philippines. Um, yeah, what are your takeaways? I mean, if you find yourself here, I see why this is the second biggest tourist attraction in Bohol, aside from the Chocolate Hills, because it's very peaceful and it just takes you away from the hectic town life to a very serene setting. Mm -hmm. I love what you talk out of your ass. There's just so much to see and do, and you we're gonna walk away feeling like we saw what we need to see and accomplish, but knowing that we can very well come back here and do even more. So Bull, you've been amazing, and we cannot wait to see what else you got in store. All right guys, we just finished our one hour cruise. So what do you gotta say? 
it was so worth the price. We went into it thinking, oh my God, this is too much for an all you can eat. But we see why it was that price. I mean, you got music, food, scenic views. What more can you ask for? It was less about the food, mm -hmm. at least for us, and just more about the ambiance and like the experience. It was beautiful. I totally get it. <laughs> I 100% recommend it. Bite the bullet with your 1,700 pesos. You'll be fine. You won't regret it. Also, the food's great. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's not like you're going on a cruise with like, scraps and stuff yeah or with no food like that includes a buffet you can go up as many times as you want and let me tell you that banana bread was bomb it was bomb i tried getting will to go up there and do some karaoke but clearly he isn't that much of a britney fan or he would have gotten up there and exposed to the filipinos what britney is or okay why is. would i have to expose it to them when ever since we got to the philippines we've heard britney non-stop so actually they already know what it is and unlike his unlike his queen that nobody <laughs> knows who the hell she is she's a local act i have a global act <laughs> Anyway, it was lots of fun. We recommend it and we do it again. Yeah, we totally do it again. And the weather was on our side. So what more can we ask for? All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be updated for this video and all the other ones to come. And if you happen to buy us a coffee, even better because it helps us edit these wonderful videos. Yes. Thank you, guys. We thank appreciate you. it. All right. Bye. Later. She'll tumble and fall Or the mountain Shrink her rumble To the sea I won't cry Oh, I won't cry No, I won't Shed a tear Just as long As you still Stand by me Oh, darling, darling Stand by me